Welcome to this introductory tutorial on getting started with OpenPNM. This is Professor Jeff Gostick, and our group at the University of Waterloo develops OpenPNM. In this tutorial, we'll cover the following topics. We'll start with what is poor network modeling and why is it a useful tool. Then we'll introduce our software, OpenPNM, and highlight its capabilities. Next, we'll give an overview of numerical computing in the Python ecosystem, followed by how to install OpenPNM and get started with it, as well as where to go for help and to get further information. Poor network modeling has been around for about 40 years, originally developed by reservoir engineers to study oil flow in geological formations, but porous material problems are everywhere, from membranes to electrodes to biological materials and more. The applications of poor networks are endless. Uh, OpenPNM aims to extend into as many areas as we can. One key advantage of the poor network approach is the ability to do poor scale modeling with minimal computational cost. On the left we have an image of a porous material that has been meshed for direct numerical simulation in a CFD solver. Each triangle here represents an unknown that must be solved for, and we can see many thousands. On the right is the same image abstracted as a pore network. Here each black circle is a single pore representing an unknown to be solved for. There are typically 10,000 times fewer unknowns in a pore network model as compared to a direct numerical simulation. Although it is possible to do direct numerical simulations on a poor scale image to obtain very detailed results, as shown in the top right, it is both time consuming and it requires high performance computers. The speed up obtained via poor network modeling allows vastly larger domains to be studied and also the possibility of transient simulations such as battery charging or contaminant dispersion. Another key benefit of poor network modeling is the ease with which multi-phase flow can be included using concepts from percolation theory. Predicting fluid distributions can be done quickly, and computing the transport through the partially saturated networks is as easily done as with dry networks. OpenPNM includes several percolation algorithms and capillary models. In OpenPNM, it is possible to simulate most types of transport, from diffusion and convection to solid phase processes like heat and electron transfer. OpenPNM also allows nth order reactions in general nonlinear source terms for reactive flows. The OpenPNM developers are particularly interested in multi-physics applications such as advection diffusion, dual solid void networks, electrochemical systems, and phase change. On the left side of this slide shows a lithium-ion battery electrode with a three-phase network extraction, including solid, binder, and active material. On the right-hand side is a fuel cell electrode showing phase change due to the temperature profile and the current distribution inside the cell. Many users wish to apply OpenPNM to tomography images of their material. We support a second package called PoreSpy that contains network extraction algorithms that works seamlessly with OpenPNM. Here we can see a grayscale image of sandstone. Next to it is a binarized 3D image of sandstone. And finally on the bottom is a network extraction overlaid on that image. The quality of the extraction is apparent. OpenPNM is written in Python using the SciPy stack to provide high performance numerical data types and functions. Python is an extremely popular language and is very easy to learn and use with a syntax similar to MATLAB, but unlike MATLAB, it's free and open source. The best way to get a fully functional numerical Python environment is to use the Anaconda distribution, which is a pre-compiled package containing almost everything you'll need and is ready to go. To download the Anaconda installer, visit their website anaconda.com and navigate to the download section. Once there, choose the installer suitable for your operating system and choose the highest version of Python you can find. After Anaconda is installed, you can start by opening the Anaconda Navigator. In this window, there are two options of interest. Spider is like a MATLAB development environment, while Jupyter Notebook is more like Mathematica, providing a canvas for combining functions, text, and graphs. Either work for using OpenPNM, but developing new algorithms or complex functions is easier in Spider since you can access the files containing the source code. OpenPNM is not included in Anaconda, so you must install it. This is done through the Anaconda prompt by typing pip install OpenPNM. 
The pip command refers to the Python package index and will fetch OpenPNM from their repository and install it. To test that OpenPNM was installed correctly, type Python at the Anaconda prompt to drop into a Python session, indicated by the three triangles. Then try import OpenPNM. If this works, then it is ready for use. To exit the Python console, type exit. All of the OpenPNM development is done on a public repository hosted on github.com slash pnum. Here you can see a list of all the active projects including OpenPNM. In the OpenPNM repository you can see a short readme document with general information about OpenPNM including a link to the documentation. You can also find an issue tracker for reporting bugs and asking for help. To ultimately visualize your simulations we recommend using Paraview. OpenPNM outputs to several Paraview compatible formats. There are many resources for learning how to use Paraview available on the internet. Almost all of the renderings and animations you've seen in this video were done using Paraview. OpenPNM is a relatively mature project started in 2012. We have put considerable effort into creating documentation which you can find at openpnm.readthedocs.io. There is also a collection of examples included with the source code which can be browsed directly on the GitHub website. And that concludes this introductory tutorial on getting started with OpenPNM. Future tutorials will focus on more technical aspects of using OpenPNM.